Today we're going to be looking at the Elderwood Academy Spellbook Dice Boxes, because Elderwood reached out and said, we've got a ton of stuff for you to review if you want. I said yes, one thing led to another, and bada bing bada boom, we've got Ribonator Dice Goblin Spellbooks now. I already wanted to review the product, but now I've got my own version of it on their site, which is awesome. But more on that later. Let's start small to large for their product line and take a look at their keychain spellbooks. They are absolutely adorable and super mini. I wouldn't use this box as my daily driver set, I would just attach it to my backpack that way I always have a set of dice with me because it comes with a set of very many dice. That's right, comes with, which I think is really, really cool. I tried really hard to just shake it and pop it open, but it's not going to. The magnets are really strong, so I wouldn't worry about this just popping open as you're carrying it around. The wood makes a really nice seal. It almost looks like one piece whenever it's closed, and I think it's just gorgeous. The leather covering it is really soft and nice. And by the way, the style of stuff that I'm offering on their site is the gold outside with rainbow goblin in the middle, though I'm largely going to show you the rainbow outside or trim with the green goblin in the middle. I want you to be able to see all of their stuff without just specifically shilling for what I have on their site, though I do think what I have is really gorgeous. Speaking of gorgeous, I think that cherry wood really pops with those red dice, and so I like it for my set. However, if you decide to make your own custom keychain set, which you can do on their site, you can pick whatever dice go inside, which I think is just neat. Customizability is fantastic, and you can go even down to the type of leather or wood. But we've looked at the keychains, let's Let's move it up a step to their small spell book set. By the way, shout out to the Elderwood shipping person who made sure there was plenty of gold in the bags that these were shipped in. This is a pretty decent view of my spellbook set that I offer on their side on the left and how light everything is versus something that you might customize on the right with a darker wood or any rainbow pattern. As a D&D or tabletop game player, this would be my daily driver choice of the options because it holds one minifigure as well as a standard set of seven RPG dice. You're going to be able to fit normal plastic dice in here no problem. You can even fit most metal ones that you might buy on Amazon or something like that in there without issue. I was a bit concerned that I wouldn't be able to fit handmade dice or larger metal dice in there. Handmade dice often run on the larger side, and any sort of dice box like this that has channels, I was thinking, oh, well it's over. They're not going to fit in there because of the channels. But luckily, whether intentionally or otherwise, the designer made a really good choice to only put the channels on the bottom half of the spell book, and I'll show you why that's important to make it so that you can put larger dice in there in just a minute. Also, you can shake it up and it doesn't pop open just like the keychain one, so they definitely use strong magnets. You can see these channels here on the bottom half help hold the dice in place, but if you were to put them on the top half there too, you would limit the size dice that you can fit inside. So even this shell dice that I've made before fits in there with no issue. I fit all of my handmade sets in there, unless it's an intentionally oversized D20. Of course, I'm not going to be able to fit that in there, but the rest of them fit in no problem, and I've tried it with a couple different designers' sets too. The reason I would say this is my daily driver as a player is the top also has a felt-lined rolling tray in the top that's large enough to be comfortable to roll my dice in. But now that we've covered the small fries, let's move to the Mac Daddy, the spell book, and it is about the size of a book. For a dice box, it's really large, but it has a lot of cool features to it that I'm going to show you. This would be my DM driver, because it's got so much stuff to it. It's got a latch to keep it closed instead of magnets, so that is different, but I think it's because of the pure weight of it. It also has a bunch of different foam inserts, depending on which type you get, and I'll show you which type comes with mine in a minute, and a reflective metal surface on the other side, which I'll also show you in just a minute. They sent me a bunch of Norse Foundry dice to have on the inside, which I thought was cool because Norse Foundry was the first dice I ever made my sharp edge dice out of. The foam inserts are also not normally this tall. They sent me two because they sent me two spell books. And if you don't want any foam inserts, that's fine. It's felt lined on the bottom for dice rolling. The lid of the box that has the metallic surface also has this cool etching around the edge of it. And now you could roll dice on it, but I mean, it's metal and kind of shiny, you might break it. What it's supposed to be used for is actually as a dry erase board, which I think is fantastic. As somebody who makes a lot of mistakes and has to redraw and rewrite things all the time, I much prefer this over something that just kind of statically sits at the top with information. That's what I have a DM screen for if that's what I really want it. And so as a dice box, I like this to be a full tool for me to use. And with just a paper towel, everything wipes off and is pretty clean. I didn't do anything else except wipe it with a paper towel, and it still looks really, really good. 
They also sent me a bunch of different foam inserts to show off the different options for their spell book because again, they're pretty customizable. The four set one we already saw, they have the base one that holds three minis and a couple of different sets of dice, the rolling set, which is the one that comes with my dice goblin version of the box, and the card set, which holds a set and some decks of cards. Again, I double stacked my foam. You shouldn't do that. I'm only realizing in editing, they sent me two stacks of foam because they sent me two boxes. I'm just a big dumb like that. Again, the one that comes with my boxes is going to be this rolling insert. It holds two sets of dice and has a little spot for you to roll dice as needed. That's why I like it, but again, you don't have to use any of these foam inserts. You can remove all of them if you'd like. And so I can stop carrying around resin boxes like this because, man, if I'm playing a wizard, you bet I'm going to be having a spell book. But if the regular spell book is just too large or the keychain set is just too small, I highly recommend the mini spell book. It's a great daily driver. It holds a standard set of seven RPG dice, and as we said before, it'll also also hold the larger handmade sets since we know a lot of handmade dice makers like myself tend to make them just a little bit bigger. It can even hold a small figure on the side or more d20s if you roll at advantage or d6s if you happen to play a rogue. One other thing that I kind of want to show off because they sent it to me, though it isn't exactly a dice box, it is their scroll rolling tray, which I think is really awesome. I'm not offering one on their site, but they're really cool kind of portable scrolls that you can turn into a dice rolling tray really easily. It's got leather on the bottom, so it's got a nice sound. It's also really soft on the bottom, which is strangely fun to play with and kind of a fidget toy for me whenever I'm just sitting there, but they roll up nice and easy. They sound great whenever you roll dice on them, though they did make me roll a nat one there, so I'm not exactly happy with it. Either way, I just think it's a cool product. It's very customizable, which they seem to be leaning towards, and I think that's awesome. Though I know what you're all really here for, that's the durability roll test of everything on the table. See, that's why they put the latch on there. You wouldn't want to damage anything inside, right? You gotta be careful. Anyway, I think that they're really awesome. I've really enjoyed getting to use them for the past little bit, and I hope that you enjoy them half as much as I enjoyed throwing them. I really like the Ribonator ones because of the gold, not that I'm partial to those for any reason. I'll definitely put a link in the description down below to where you can get those, and if you do end up ordering them, you can use code RIBO10 for 10% off your order on their site. Huge thanks to Elderwood for this awesome collaboration. I was so excited to get to work with them, and hopefully we'll get to do some more stuff in the future. Also, thanks to you for watching the video. Subscribe if you might want to see some more stuff like this in the future, or comment if there's anything you might want me to review or throw very harshly at my table, I'm happy to do that for you. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope that you have a fantastic day.